today we are adding a two digit number with a one digit number and it's going to require something called regrouping. So here's our problem 49 plus 5. So the first thing to do, and I've listed all the steps here, the first thing to do is to stack those numbers up lining up the places. So uh, I've got a little diagram here for the tens and the ones place. So I'm going to put the in 49, I'm going to put the 4 in the tens place and the 9 in the ones place. And then the five just has the ones place. Five ones is five, so that goes in the ones place. So we've got them stacked up and ready to add. Now we're going to start by adding the ones column. And in the ones column, we've got nine plus five. And if you're not sure exactly what that comes out to in your head, one trick is to say, okay, I'm at nine. I need one more to get to 10. So I'd take one away from five. That would leave four. So 10 plus four is 14. Hmm. But we can only write one digit down here. So what do you do? Well, that 14, you should definitely think of it as a 10 and a 4. You put the 4 down here, and the 10 gets moved over to the tens column. And we put it up here. Sometimes this is called carrying the 1. It's just like adding that 1 to the tens column. And this looks like a 1, but it really is a 10, right? Because it's in the 10 column, so 1 means 110. Once you've done that, once you've carried the one, you've regrouped that 10 into the tens column, however you want to put it, then you're going to add the tens column. And that's not too hard here. We've got a one and a four, so that's one plus four is five. So our answer is 54. So 49 plus five is 54. And that is how to add a two-digit and a one-digit number with regrouping.